Another factor that we must take into account when we are sizing up a universal replacement motor is the shaft size. If the shaft is a 3 8 inch shaft in the motor that you're taking out of the unit, the universal replacement motor will have to have a 3 8 inch shaft also. The length of the shaft really doesn't matter. If you had a three foot shaft and you only needed a five inch shaft, you simply get out your hacksaw and cut the shaft. The length of the shaft we're not concerned with because we can cut it down. To determine which way the motor is turning, you will see something, uh, either an arrow on the nameplate to determine the direction that the motor is going to spin. Or if you see something such as CCWLE, well that means counterclockwise lead end. This picture you see is how you determine either counterclockwise lead end or clockwise lead end. As you can see, the shaft is away from me and my hand in my hand I'm holding the leads and that's what they mean by the lead end. In this picture where the rotation would be towards the shaft end because we're, now we're holding the shaft in our hand and the leads are away from us. This series of universal motors, the leads are shown for a counterclockwise lead end rotation. For counterclockwise lead end rotation, interchange the purple and brown leads. Here we see the purple and brown leads they're talking about attached to the yellow and the orange. When they say to change those, you would simply pull the two, apart, the two sets of wires apart and switch them. Earlier in the presentation, we, I showed you on the motor nameplate, this diagram uh, wasn't very clear because it's a small section of the motor. But as you can see now, the motor tells you where the capacitor is, your setup for your leads, uh, for your rotation, and also your wiring diagram. If you look in the motor, if you look on this diagram at the top, we see brown brown is the capacitor. Here is the brown, the two brown wires that would go to the capacitor. We look now and we see we already have the rotation. We've taught, just discussed the rotation. So let's move on to the wiring diagram. The white wire is the neutral. The black is the high. The blue is the medium high. Yellow is medium low. And red is low. Those are your speeds. So blue, black, blue, yellow, and red are your speeds. Here we see the picture of them. This little green wire is obviously your ground wire. The ground wire is used to make a circuit to ground in case the winding short out in the mold and to prevent electrical shock to you. Earlier we, I mentioned that we discussed later in the presentation the capacitor uh, chart. If you look at this chart, this motor is a full half horsepower at its full strength, you would use a 10 microfarad capacitor, 370 VAC, all speeds. The full load amperage would be 6.2, and on an 03464 208 230 motor, it would be 3.6. As you look down through here, you see that we can get one third of horsepower by using a 5 or 7.5 microfarad capacitor on all speeds. The amperage draws would be 6.1 for the 115 volt motor and they would be 3.5 for the 208 230. And we can go all the way down. If you look at from one quarter horse to one sixth horse, now we have to take into account the speed of the motor. We're still going to use that 5 or 7.5 capacitor, but now we need to use only certain speeds. For a fifth horse, just the medium, 
low or the low, and for the one-sixth horse, you would only use the low. This is the chart for the three-quarter horse direct drive motor. And as with the half horse motor, you're simply going to read the chart straight across for the three-quarter horse, full strength, 370 VAC, all speeds. When you get down to the third horse, now you have to go with the medium high, the medium low, or the low, and you're using only a 10 microfarad capacitor. Now you need to note that in each box there is an instructions to these, but you need to take into account that these motors are 10% stronger when you use the stronger path capacitor and they have a higher starting torque. So keep that in mind when you are using the capacitor that the motor will be a little bit stronger. And again, all of these instructions, these charts are in the instructions that come in with the motor. I hope you found that this presentation was helpful. Uh, you'll have to excuse the production. Uh, we will get better, but we hope the content was there for you. Thank you.